everybody, good to see you again. I'm Madeline Pryor, Content Specialist at Foodie Natives. I am back once again and here to talk you through some of the best Metal AM applications from Velo 3D. To better understand the vast possibilities that are available with Metal AM, today we would like to show you five main 3D printed applications that are revolutionizing everything from tooling all the way to aerospace. Let's take a look. First up, I think many of you will recognize this application from Velo 3D. The iconic Captain AM shield was designed after Captain America's own vibranium weapon. And it is not only an incredible metal replica, but it holds the distinction as well of being the largest metal dome that has been 3D printed without supports. We spoke to Gene Miller from Velo 3D to learn more. One of the most exciting applications that we've had success with this year has been the printing of large dome closures using our Sapphire technology. Uh, we like to have fun at our company and we figured what way to exemplify this capability than to print a Captain America shield. Here it is, our large format dome closure printed on our XC system with eight lasers stitched together to print this one large unsupported dome closure on our new system. If you have already heard of LO3D Sapphire Solution, you may know that one of its main benefits is the ability to print at low angles without the need for support. This is clearly on display with this next application. This is a static mixer or a device that has been engineered for the continuous mixing of fluids. In order to achieve this, it is, as you might expect, necessary to have a complex internal structure, which you can also see here since the part was cut in two. What is exceptional in this case is that these angles are actually all about 25 degrees, whereas with legacy systems, the lowest possible angle is actually around 45 degrees. The next application is incredible not just for what it is, but also for the material used. This rocket thrust chamber was printed by Velo 3D using GRCOP42, a copper chromium niobium alloy that was developed by NASA. The material is notable because it retains strength at temperature, has excellent creep resistance, and a low cycle fatigue life. Moreover, the use of metal AM allows for the creation of geometries within the part, including flow channels, as you can see. One of the applications for which Velo 3D is extremely well known is, of course, impellers. These rotating devices alter the flow and or pressure of liquids, gases, and vapors, and are used in a variety of industries. To explain more about the zero-degree impeller, we caught up once again with Gene Miller. We can print these flat on the build plate where we retain the circularity of the part and actually are able to balance these and use them at a high revolution per minute application. It's not something that is done in the industry very well, and Velo 3D adds this unique capability to provide real parts for real applications that can be really used. Last but certainly not least, these incredibly heavy pieces mark one of Velo 3D's newest applications as it is breaking into the tooling market. M300 tool steel, an ultra-low carbon alloy with very high strength and hardness properties, was used to make this sprue bushing and HPDC insert. Sprue bushings are used in die casting and injection molding to transfer the molten material to the mold cavity. And also, what, another application for tooling is this HPDC, or high pressure die casting insert, which is often used to support the manufacturing of automotive components. In this case, the material is perfect again for the application, while the Sapphire solution allows for the creation of these complex parts, including internal structures. And there you have it. Metal AM has without a doubt some of the most innovative manufacturing possibilities for different sectors. If you want to learn more, don't hesitate to look at Velo 3D's website or of course you could also find some related content on 3D Natives. 